Yes, thank you very much. It's amazing how their talent and fate matches up these kids from all around the world in the Olympic Games. That started out uh, this week as a match between Komenich and Corbett, ended up strictly Komenich. There's another one coming up right now. It's in swimming, and you're going to see the race live between Shirley Babishoff of the United States and Cornelia Ender of East Germany. Of course, they're not the only people in the race, and one of them may not win it. But they've been matched up here. Shirley Babishoff has never won an Olympic gold medal, remember. She was second place in Munich, and second place has been her fate so far here. Second place plays are not quite that good. So we thought before this race begins, live and on our tube here, let's meet them up close and personal. Until recently, the town of Halle, population 90,000, an hour's drive south of East Berlin, was known principally for the fugues of Johann Sebastian Bach and for Handel's Messiah. Today, it is also known for the world records of a 17-year-old swimmer, Cornelia Ender by name. She's a bit old, as some female swimmers go, but is far from over the hill. Three days after we visited her here, she set five world records in the East German National Championships. And here in Montreal, she's won a gold medal in the 100-meter freestyle and in the medley relay. Cornelia here is in downtown Halle with her mother, Rose Marie, a pediatric nurse. She surprised the experts at Munich by finishing second to Shane Gould at age 13. And tonight she faces another rival, a girl of the Golden West from Southern California, where the sun shines every day and every girl is young and blonde. Many of these girls are named Shirley, but only one of them is named Shirley Babishoff, Ender's rival tonight. I don't really remember the Olympics in Munich very well, because I was only 15 years old and I was kind of young, but... I would like to go back and win an individual gold. It's really something that, that I've been working forward to. Shirley has many awards, but not an Olympic gold medal. And Cornelia had everything when she came to Montreal except an Olympic gold. Now she has that too. The background of these two girls is so different. Far from the beaches of Southern California, Cornelia prepared for the games in Halle. In Munich, she was a child. Now she's three inches taller, 20 pounds heavier, and engaged to the great backstroke swimmer, Roland Mattis. She's very happy with the East German system and very proud of the way it operates. After practice, she talked to us about it in her room at the Sports Center Chemistry, where she lives. Man so von anderen Ländern hört, gerade im kapitalistischen Land, wo die Sportler nicht so unterstützt werden wie bei uns, dass sie eben alles freikriegen der Schulbesuch und das Training und die Wettkampfreisen, wo man die besuchen kann, dann sieht man das doch als Sportler immer mehr, wenn man die Möglichkeit kriegt, als wie wenn man dann die Vergleiche zieht zu den anderen Ländern. From the Sport Club Chemistry in Halle to Golden West College is quite a jump. But Shirley was thinking about the contrast in systems there too. There are scholarships offered in colleges which really help women to keep swimming, you know, and but like before, they never offered any scholarships, so at the end of high school, that was it. You know, you, you graduated from high school and you really didn't swim anymore because you couldn't go to college on a scholarship. But now that they do have them, women are swimming more, and they are getting better because when you are older, you do get better. <laughs> and so they meet tonight on neutral turf, you might say. Ender, upper right, is best in the 100. Babishop, lower left, is better at 400 and 800. Tonight's race is in between at 200 meters, a classic matchup. It really is a fascinating matchup coming up live in just a couple of minutes right now. In world championship competition, these two have met three times, and the score is Ender 2 and Shirley 1. However, only once they have met in this event, the 200 meter freestyle in the world championship, and Shirley won that one. They did not meet at all individually and head to head in the games at Munich four years ago. The tail of the tape, as they say in the boxing world, Shirley 5'10", 150, Ender 5'10", 158. Same height, eight pounds difference. Now, Robert Rieger, our colleague in slow motion photography, checked in on both the girls in the heats of the 100 meter freestyle. Beautiful slow motion photography and the comments of Bob. As we telecast the women's 100 meter semifinals on Sunday, America's Shirley Babishoff here in lane three drew a match sprint with Cornelia Ender of the German Democratic Republic, here in lane four below. And the East German star got off to such a smashing start that Donna de Verona remarked, she did it again. How does she do that every time? With our high-speed cameras, we show you now the power of Cornelia Ender off the blocks. Here she is in the lower part of your screen, 
Watch her arms. They come up in an unorthodox wing position. She has left the blocks, and Shirley Babishoff above is still on the blocks. And now watch Ender come to the water. Her legs are separated, ready for a kick. Shirley is flat out, and now in a jackknife position, which is going to take her deeper in the water. Ender makes a much more shallow dive, and watch her left arm. It begins now in the power stroke immediately. Shirley above is gliding. You cannot glide in the 100 meters. Ender now brings her all-important first stroke through and whips it out of the water with such strength, and watch her leg. It begins her strong, strong kick. Then the two right arms come out of the water together, but it's Shirley Babishoff's first stroke and Cornelia Ender's second stroke. We did a remarkable thing in this race. We counted the catches or the hand entries of each of the swimmers. Ender had 43 strokes from the dive to the turn and 49 returning home. Babishoff had 59 strokes from the dive to the wall and 58 strokes returning home. For a total of 92 strokes for Ender and 117 strokes for Babishoff. In the 100 meter sprint or in sprinting and swimming, the tendency is to turn over too quickly, to spin your wheels as they say, shorten your stroke, increase your RPMs, but it really slows you down. The secret for a great swimmer is to maintain a full arm extension. This is Ender's catch. Watch your elbows. Her stroke is not all that efficient. She does slap her elbows in first. What then is her strength? Her kick. It really mounts her entire power in that pool. It keeps her torso high and gets her on top of the water with minimum resistance and more speed. And now watch the turn. Ender comes in with her left arm and actually misjudged this all-important single turn in the 100-meter race. She starts to bring her legs over, but she has misjudged the wall and she turns too soon. And when her legs come through, there, there's no coil left and she doesn't have this propulsion off the wall that she needs and she stops dead in the water. Shirley above her makes a much better turn. She judges the water properly and here on her push off the wall, she comes to the closest to Ender that she's been all race. But with that kick and with that arm stroke, Cornelia Ender, in one full stroke, coming home, regains her lead. And now as we approach the 75 meter mark, where most 100 meter races begin, this race is over. Cornelia Ender has left Shirley Babishoff behind. So it will happen in just a minute or so now. Remember, Shirley Babishoff has yet to win an individual gold medal in the Olympic Games, although she won one in the relay uh, previously four years ago in Munich. The third woman in this race, the fastest qualifier it would seem, is Enid Brigitte from the Netherlands, who just the other night became the first black swimmer ever to win a medal, as far as we can find out, in Olympic competition. That race is coming right up then. It's Shirley Babishoff going against Cornelia Ender, the United States, East Germany and the Netherlands appearing to be the big powers in this race. Coming right up. We've returned again to Montreal, standing by for when they're ready for the beginning of that 200 meter freestyle race with Cornelia Ender and Shirley Babishoff, whom you should now know pretty well after the up close and personal and the analysis of their styles by Robert Rieger. Not quite ready out of the